Hi, and welcome back. Today I would like to explore with you uh, some, some transformation of dates. I will show you how you can very easily make a calendar using a list. And after doing that, I will show you how to use a base uh, column with a date and transform that to all kinds of categories. So let's get started. And we're going to start this from completely scratch. Uh, so you're going to make a new query. And you're going to have a blank query to start out with. And the first thing I would like to teach you is to use a list. And Power Query can make use of lists by starting with the assign. Lists always start with a curly bracket. So you open one. And then if you would, for example, write one, two dots, and ten, you close your curly bracket. And ta-da, you will get a list from one to ten. And of course, you can do this till any amount you want, till twenty. 30, whatever you like. And this is super important uh, and a really important skill to learn if you want to make a dynamic calendar table. Because you can use these two values instead of for numbers like 1 to 30, you can also use the numbers for the, for the underlying dates. Um, so let's do that. And well, to start out with this query, we will call calendar. But I would like these to be dynamic. So we're going to have a new blank query to start with. And this query I will call para, uh, parameters. And also here we're going to start out with a list. And in this case, I would like to have two dates in my list. So open your quotes. We're going to start in two, 0, 01 uh, of January 2018. Close quotes. You do a comma, space, open your quotes again, and in this case, I would like my date to run until 31st, 12, 2019. Close quote, and close your curly brackets. This turns my list into a list of two values with the dates. Now, before we can use this, we're going to go to the tra transform, which appears once you make a list. And this contextual chat allows you to transform your list to a table and accept the default settings. And to start out with, let's call this on date. Now, as I put these in double quotes in my list, these are now considered text. And I would like them to be dates first. So we transform it to date. So Power Query recognizes what formatting it has. And all the dates in Power Query or in Power BI they have underlying values, just like in Excel. So after making this a date, it is recognized, and you can then transform it to a whole number. And you do not replace the current step, because we also need Power Query to transform your text to a date. But as a next step, I need it to show me the underlying values for the dates. And these we're going to be using to make our calendar dynamic. Now, as we saw in the calendar, we fill it in 1 to 30. I would like to make this dynamic. To do that, you're going to refer to the first and the second value of this query called parameters. And for the right formatting in your formula, right click on the first value, press drill down. And especially starting from the greater brackets, this part we're going to be using. Let me just use the arrow keys to select it. And then remove the date step. So both of these are visible. And then when we go to calendar, we can replace number one by fitting in this date here. And we're going to replace the value 30 by the second value, which is a one in Power Query. And the first value is always a zero. But now when you press Enter, you're not going to get anything yet because it does not recognize anything with these columns within the calendar query. So you'll have to specify parameters just before that. And after we do that, you press Enter. And there you go. The first value is 43101. And the last value is 43, well, the one that corresponds to the end of 2019. And once you do that, you get a list that is dependent on your parameters. And as the contextual tab appears again, you can also transform this one to a table and you accept the default settings. Now we change the column name to date. 
and I transform my dates, uh, my numbers into the corresponding dates. And here we go. We started at the 1st of 2018, and we go up until the end of 2019. Voila. Once you get the hang of this, these lists are very powerful and easy to use. Just make sure you refer to the right query, and then make sure you refer to the column and the value you need. And after you get this, there's a lot of transformations you can do with your date. And you could, for example, go to the Transform tab, select your column, and then if you click on Date, all kinds of options are available. For example, if you click H, and you would change this to a whole number, you can see how many days from now uh, the date was. And as you can see, uh, this date here in row 124, let's see where that was. I'm just going to remove the steps to 124. This is the date I'm making the video today. So that was a zero if you look at H. But the disadvantage of transforming your date column in a transform tab and then using date is that your initial column disappears. So to show you guys how this works, I would actually like to show you through the Add Columns tab, and to just make new columns when I do some transformations. Um, so some things that uh, are very common in a calendar is to have the year next to your column. We can have the month uh, next to week. This can be very useful. Week of the year and the day of the year. Now, besides the, the real numbers, oftentimes it can be useful to also have the name of the month and to have the name of the day as well in the column. So you can click on date, day, name of day. And this is a super easy and quick way to add your for to transform your calendar into a more visible uh, a more clear calendar. And just take note of the formulas that are used up here, because they often start with date. And in this case, the, the, the name of the week is, is started by date dot day of the week name, date month name, date day will give you the right day, etc. You'll get used to these formulas quite quickly. But perhaps these don't have the formatting that you would like. And one more thing that I would like to show you is that you can actually format the date just as you like. And in Excel, you often use the text function for that. But in Power Query, you go to Custom Column, and you can use the formula is date to text. You open your bracket and select the date, comma, and then you open your double quotes and Right here, you can fill in the formatting as you like. So if you, for, for example, would like to know like Wednesday, uh, you would want to start out with the numbers of the month or of the day. You can start out with double D space. And perhaps you would like the month name, month, month, month. And you would like to add the year numbers in the end. Double quote, close. And we're going to have a custom date as a column name. Um, and in this case, I think I need to have a capital M to get the right month. That's right. Um, but perhaps you would also like to have the, the day name. So you can have mon Monday. And then perhaps we can even do exactly Monday, the 1st of January 2018. So there's all kinds of formatting you can play with to have your custom date column. if if that's the way you want to present it. So this was a little bit on uh, how to start out with a calendar and to expand it using all kinds of data. We have started out making a list. And in the beginning, our list was, uh, was plugged in with numbers. But right now, it's dynamic by referring to parameters. And after that, I've shown you how to make sure to add all kinds of new columns to add new information. Thanks for watching.